Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will walk you through how to install Kali Linux in Oracle VirtualBox on Windows 11 PC. To begin installation, we search Kali Linux in Google and look for the kali.org. Just click on this link. On this page, we click on download. On this page, we have two download options. First one is installer image. It's also called ISO images. Other is virtual machine. These are the pre-built images. The pre-built images I already covered in separate videos. I will provide the link in description. So we'll click on installer image. This is the download page and I'm using 64 bit image. As you can see, the file size is 3.6 gig. It can take a while. To download, just click on this small arrow and download will start. Our installer image is downloaded. Now we go to the virtual box, open it. Click on new to create new virtual machine and you have to give the name. You can pick any name. Then this is the installation location. I'll leave it default. Then go to type is Linux. For the version, it is on Debian base. Select Debian 64 bit. Click next. The recommended memory is uh, two gig. If you have more, you can give more for better performance. I'll use 4 gig. CPU is recommended 2 CPUs. Click next. The recommended size for the disk is 20 gig. If you are going to install some softwares, you can make it bigger. So I'll use it 40 gig. Click next and finish now make sure you select this machine we just created and go to the settings there is nothing to change in general and system click on display and you can max out the video memory for better performance then go to storage and click on empty For the optical drive, you click on this small disk icon and go to choose a disk file and locate to the ISO image we just downloaded. This is installer image. Click open. Click OK. Alright, our virtual machine is ready. Now we can power on. Just go to start and click on start. Select graphical install. Select English and continue. Here you can select your country. Continue. This is the keyboard. I'll keep it American English. Continue. Host name, I will leave it default. Kelly. Domain name, I will leave it blank because this system is not part of any domain. Click on continue. This is full name of user. This is not username, but you can use your own name or any other name. Then 
this is the username of your account continue and now you can choose your password make sure it is strong and easy to remember continue this is your time zone I'll keep the default guided use entire disk continue this is only option continue and I'll leave it default all files in one partition continue finish partitioning and write changes to the disk continue write the changes to the disk yes continue I'll keep all the default selection continue click continue we'll select this option continue installation completed press continue to reboot Now we can enter our username and password. Login. This is our Kali Linux operating system. It's ready to use. As you can see the screen is smaller just go here click minimize once and then maximize it will max your screen so here is your Kali operating system you can go to menu these are the menu items and all the tools here this is your terminal For Kali Linux tutorials, I will make separate videos. Make sure to subscribe the channel. That's it for this video. We'll catch you next one.